The first thing we want to do is to lay out the structure of the overall page. So um, instead of using box here, I'm just going to use a flex because within this, we're going to have two boxes. So we import flex from chakra UI at the top. And now by adding the two boxes that will be flexed together, the first box represents the side panel or the sidebar. Just going to put side panel. And the second box represents the main panel that has a white background. Now on the main panel, I can actually take out this. Remember we had three parts, the top section, the bottom section, and the middle section. So I'm going to have that. And all of these were stacked together, right? So I'll add this tag, import it from Chakra, React. And the first reading this is going to be a box, which is the top. And I'm going to use the center component for the middle section or the center section. I'm going to call this middle. And then the last section would be another box. Oops. If I can spell box, which is the bottom section. Yeah. So we'll give our flex a minimum height of 100 dvh. We'll also give our side panel a particular color. Remember that it has this very light gray color. So we're going to give it a bg of bg.muted. So bg.muted is a semantic token in Chakra UI. There are lots of semantic tokens available in Chakra UI. bg.muted is one of them. And semantic tokens are so useful because they help you when you're developing um, for different modes, light and dark mode. You can easily use semantic tokens. And our width, the width of the side panel or the sidebar is going to be 260 pixels. Let's see what we have so far. This is what we have. We are nearly done with the layout. We just have to make a couple more style tweaks. So let's go back to our code. On this tag that wraps the top, middle, and bottom sections, we're going to give it a height and, you know, give it a full height. And this will help us then flex the center. We're going to give the center a flex of one. The bottom section, we're just going to add a padding bottom, which is PB of two, which is eight pixels. So all of this will help us immediately start laying out every element in these different parts with ease. Now I have my side panel and the main panel that consists of the top, the middle and the bottom. Let's start with the side panel and begin to lay out elements here. Going back into ChatGPT, we see that there are different parts in the side panel. We have this part, which has the two icons flex side by side. We have this stack of links, and then we have this bottom link right here. So this tells us that we can add this stack where these two are flexed, these two are stacked on top of each other, and then this is a bottom link. Let's implement this. I'm just going to organize my code properly, take out side panel and instead adding a stack. Within this stack, we have two icons that are flexed. And within flex, we add in our icon button from Chakra UI. Perfect. So within this icon button, we'll add our side bar icon. So I already have a couple of icons that I got from the ChatGPT interface. So the first one we need to add is the sidebar icon. Perfect. The sidebar icon takes a couple of styles. It takes a font size of two extra large and a color of fg.sotu. So this color is also a semantic token from Chakra UI. The icon button takes a variant of ghost. And one thing we can immediately tell is that 
for my icon button in ChatGPT, we see that it has a really nice tool tip here. So we can add in a tool tip to our icon button. So to do this, we only need to wrap icon button with tool tip. We import tool tip from our snippets and wrap it around our icon button. Now tooltip takes a couple of props. The first of this is the content prop, which determines what the content for that tooltip should be. In this case, it says close sidebar. The second prop is the positioning prop, which is really where the tooltip should stay. So positioning takes an object of placement and make this to the right. It's going to be placed on the right side of the icon button. Let's see what we have. Perfect. This is looking good. We also notice that it's missing an arrow. So we can go into adding a show, show arrow pop and see. Yeah. Perfect. This is what it shows up as. You know what? I'm actually going to change the color from subtle to muted based on this. So let's go back to our code and change this to FG muted. That starts. So the next thing is to duplicate this for the second icon. And we'll change a couple of things. This should say the content for our two tips should say new chart. New chart. And we're going to remove our positioning. I think this uses a default positioning. We're also going to change the icon instead of the sidebar icon. We're going to give it a new chart icon. Yep. And of course, let's not forget to flex our two tips by passing justify as space between. So check out what we have. Yeah, this is already looking good. A couple of things we can do to our overall stack is to add some padding and a height. So I'm going to specify the height as four. Give it a PX of three and a PY of two. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. The next thing to do is to set up the links within our H stack. So this is why I mean these two links. Let's go ahead to build them using H tag. We're going to stack these two links and within the stack, pass in an H tag. So the H tag would have a link. Within the link, we'll have a small GPT icon. <laughs> so let's see what I have. Okay, so we need to add a couple of styles. We see we have this really nice white background or circle around it. And it's not flushed, right? It has a bit of padding around it as well. So let's go into make these changes. My GPT icon, I'm going to change the font size to something a bit bigger to a medium font size. And I'm also going to use the circle component from Chakra UI to create a circle around this icon. So I import it. and give it a size. Circle takes a size pop. And for this purpose, I'm gonna use a size of six, which is about 24 pixels. A background color using semantic tokens. BG stands for the white background color and translates to its equivalent dark color in dark mode. I'm gonna give it a border width of one pixel and as usual our link should take an href for now we're just going to pass in a hash as our href it's going to take a variant of plain because we do not want any styles on our link this is coming together really nicely already so under under our circle we add in a text component and this just says chart GPT. So let's create another of this for the second link. I'm just going to duplicate this. Change the icon to explore GPT. 
and of course our text goes to explore gpts let's see what else needs to be changed um it doesn't need a circle so we take out a circle and we see what we have Immediately, we notice that we have this underline, which is text decoration. We're going to take this out. We're also going to add in some padding around this. So on our link here on hover, we specify that text decoration should be none. Copy the same thing for our chat GPT at the top. And on this tag, I add a padding X of two. And this shows up right. A couple of things we need to do now is to add in some gap between these H tags, take down the font size of the text, and add a hover background color to these links. Let's do that. So my text should actually be a font size of small. This thing here, font size of small. On this H tag, we'll add in a couple of styles. The first of these would be the hover style. So I'm just gonna say on hover, we'll pass a layer style. And specify the layer style as fill, fill dot subtle. And of course, specify the text decoration as none. We'll add in a px of one, which is four pixels. Give it a fixed height of 10, which is about 40 pixels. It has a border radius of large. And let's see what else. It can, we can also give it a width of 100%. This is nearly there, but instead of a field at subtle, let's add in the layer style as a field muted. Perfect. Yeah, this is more like what we want. So we're adding these same styles to the explore GPT. So I copy this and add it to the H tag for our explore GPTs. Yeah, looks really close to what we need. One thing we can immediately see is, one, we can make the font width medium and reduce the gap between these two. So let's go into add those style, font width, MD, and I'm just gonna say the gap should be zero yeah this is about right what we need perfect so the final part of this or before we go to the final parts one thing i need to show you is this little icon here that says new chat we'll come back to this just before we wrap up as a an extra feature to add to this link so let's go on to add this bottom link right here that says upgrade plan. Here, I'm gonna add in a link. Within the link, add in the icon, which would be the upgrade icon, we import it. And we also add a stack for the two texts, these two texts, right? So the first text says, upgrade plan and the second text says more access to more access to the best models yep so we give this text a couple of style updates the font size for this first text we're going to give it a font size of say small and for this, it's a very small text. So this will take a font size of extra small. We're also going to tweak the color. And of course, 
These two need to be stacked horizontally. So we wrap our H stack around it. Perfect. Let's see what this looks like right now. Couple of tweaks. First up, this should be at the bottom here, not here. So we'll make that change. Another thing is this icon should have a circle. That's the second thing. There should be no text decoration and the gap between this should be a lot less. So let's go back to adding these tiles. So in order to push our link to the very bottom, one thing we can do is to give this a flex of one. Oops, one, no, exclamation. Flex of one. So we see this instantly pushes it to the bottom, which is so good. Now, of course, our upgrade icon is within a circle. And give the circle a couple of styles. It has a size of 8, which is 32 pixels. A font size of large. Border width. Border width of 1 pixels. In terms of the stack that wraps around the two texts, we're going to give it a gap of zero. Hmm. This is looking very close to what we want. Of course, we can remove the text decoration on the link. So here we actually pass in an href pointed to hash. And on hover, like you guessed, specify te text decor as none. You notice that little jump right there. So we add in a padding bottom to the link. Just after this, PB of two. Yeah, that's more like it. And I think I'll make this subtle. One thing we can do is to give this text a bit of font weight. So I'm going to pass a font weight of bold to the text. Hmm. Medium. One final thing to do is to give this bottom link a over background color, just like this just like what we did to these links. So I'm just going to copy the hover styles here. This, this layer style. And I'm going to put it on my hover right here. Also going to copy the border radius. And I also set PX to 1. And in reality, I'm actually going to make PY to instead of PB. So this is how this shows up pretty close to what we want over here. And that's about it.